Hello hello all the users out there a very happy new year to all of you This year's first video is kind of special because I have compiled a list of five most popular themes for Linux But you may ask why what is so special about these themes that you are saying these are the most popular themes Well let me ask this Have you ever wondered about the themes that are famous around the world the themes that people use no matter where they live The users can be from India, United States, Russia, Brazil, France, Spain, Japan, just anywhere around the world. So don't you want to know what are the themes that are famous among these users? If you are curious then continue watching because to satisfy the curiosity here are the most popular themes that are being used by the users around the earth. So without further me talking let's see these themes. The first one is Whitesurf GTK theme. Like many other themes, the Whitesurf GTK theme is inspired by Mac OS. As we know, Apple does the design better than anyone else. The theme is based on Mac OS Big Sur, so this is the latest operating system that they have. The iteration, at least, of the operating system that they have, it takes inspirations from it and it tries to convert the design system to the Linux GTK-based applications. I've tried the Big Sur on the GNOME desktop environment and it looks fabulous. Additionally, the developers update the theme very often to keep it up to date with the modern design and fixes. You can get the theme from the GitHub and GNOME looks. The link will be in the description so do not worry about this, just follow the description link and you will be able to download it. Moving on to the second one, the Nordic theme has its own glow to it. The GTK theme uses the Nordic color palette. If you do not know, a color palette is basically a palette, a palette basically containing multiple colors, and you have to use only those colors to make anything. So when you are designing some kind of theme, you are only allowed to use those colors and not any other colors. So that is what a color palette is, and the color palette which is used in this theme is the Nordic. which is why the theme gets a nordic gtk theme name apart from that the colors are eye comforting because they are darkish so if you are someone who uses the computer for a long period of time then this theme can be a good choice the theme has been updated to support both gtk 3.0 and 4.0 so you will not find any hiccups while using it on any desktop environment so to say and you can get the theme from the link given in the description moving on to the third one which is sweet gtk theme as the name itself suggests that it's a candy theme it's in fact a gradient candy theme because you will find a lot of gradients in the theme which is why i said gradient candy anyway you will love the color contrast and darkish combination with a rainbow like finish and this theme is inspired by the space and the planets which you will notice once you install the theme into the system otherwise you will not find any mention of these planets or space in the theme but you will get it eventually so the theme comes with many options just like other themes like the light and dark and with different accent colors so you can choose any color that you like from the given colors of course anyway the options that you will get from the sweet gtk theme Uh, they are kind of gorgeous so you will not go wrong with any one of them so the second last is mac mohave zdk theme i think i pronounced it correctly so this is another mac os based gtk theme for linux the theme takes inspirations from the mac os mohave giving it a clean and minimal look so if you are someone who doesn't like the bulkiness of the new pixel and appreciate the old school mohave look and feel then this theme is just for you you just need to get it and add it to your system so like the other themes mac mohave gtk themes also support different versions of gtk and it also support the latest one which is 4.0 so you will not get any issue with it and you will not face any issue using different desktop environments like gnome puzzy pentium cinnamon xfce mate or any desktop environment that you prefer you can download it using the links in the description 
So the final, the last, the first is the Artist Dedicate theme. This one is my favorite because it is my favorite. I like it. This Artist Dedicate theme is just perfect. It is well designed, developed, supported and gets updated very often. As I've already said, it's just perfect. You will love this theme, the look, the curves, gifts, the design, the color combination, the everything is just amazing. So just get it using the link given in the description and install it into the system. Artist not only comes with GDK support but with a bunch of other themes as well. Themes for your dash panel, status bar, browser, snap applications and many more things. And uh, if you do not know, I've been using this theme on the channel a lot and a lot of you ask about this theme, like what is the theme name that you're using, what is the distribution or the desktop environment you're using. Well, it's Ubuntu, Gnome, the latest Gnome currently and Autist theme. So this gets us to the end of this video. I hope you will like these all themes. And if you think I missed any particular theme, then let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'll add the theme into the article, which you will find in the description below. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.